in the space while she was trying to call a black woman bottom of the barrel, the lowest of the low. But I digress. I'm gonna go back to the com- uh, comments. All right. Uh, my little sister, what do I? Mean? You done crashed out. I'm all right, nigga. You know that's, that's like, you know, how, how, does, how, does, how does how does Ari say it? that's like a level three jersey? That was like, that was like yo. Nah, cause listen, you know. the, the little nigga was talking crazy about me all morning, Milan. All morning he was talking crazy. I've been to since like eight eleven in the morning. He was talking crazy. I'm like, man, I'm gonna let this little nigga rock. I'm yeah, he let kept him mentioning rock. your name. And then, and then once Bratz hit me. And I saw the way he was coming at Bratz uh, and Alex, and then I heard what he said about Javon and Sauce. I activated. I'm like, this man was sitting here acting tough all morning. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna match his freak. I'm a, I'm gonna match his energy and see how they like it. They couldn't even let me go two minutes, Milan, before dropping me. Like they, they, even, they didn't even pay to drop me, my nigga. They can't argue with Javon without bringing up Jaunty this, Jaunty that. And I hate when that be people only one up on somebody is you seeing them fall out with one of their friends. Like, come up with your own jokes. Be original. The dead is so corny and so lame to me. Exactly. Then he mentioned Jaunty when Jaunty came up on the panel. I don't even know why he mentioned Jaunty to me because then I just was like, Jaunty right there. If you want to talk to Jaunty, address Jaunty. If you want to because what are you? He's some, some, some brats. But Jaunty, what do Jaunty have to do with me? Me and you was going back and forth. These type of people are delusional. And they were saying over there in her comments that there was a, a man who used to be on debate talk saying he was black and he got exposed for being white. And they said that he revealed his voice on your platform, Jaunty. That's what they were saying in the comments. I told mm. you that's after Jake. That he came onto your panel one day and you was over there. Um, y'all was talking about something. And then he got mad. And it was like, are you black or white? And he was like, I'm black and he got like this real country accent. He been on there, he's been on air platform, he's been on a lot of different people platform over here. Are you talking about Tree, whatever the name is, Tree? No, that's not Tree Guy, it's after Jake. Yeah, that's after Jake. I'm sitting here laughing because as soon as they start getting into it, Milan sent me the live and I'm like, I'm sitting here already. Wait a minute, cause he was saying the N word. Yes, that's oh, after Jake. Oh, I thought he was black. He's black. Oh, okay. So you can say N word, but that's after Jake. He was he used to come in here and act like he was white, and then no, you act like he was white, but he's yeah. really black. Okay, mm-hmm. I got you. I got you. So he's a black man. All right, bet. And like I said, he absolutely won't check me. All, all all the black diamonds, well, not all of them. A lot of black diamond supporters was like, "Oh, Genty, Genty, I'm so I'm so disappointed in you. How how <laughs> They was dragging you. They're like, oh my gosh, all of those F-slurs. I'm like, why wasn't y'all saying this when he when he sat here and he called Sauce the F-slur? When he kept on making smexual comments about what Sauce and Javon do. None of y'all bust no type of muscles in the comment section. But then as soon as a queer man comes up saying the F-slur, now y'all just also offended. Stop uh, now, now they mad impressed. Man was talking about my kids and my wife. You think I wasn't going to activate? Nigga, you really tough. I'll give it an Addy in front of 3,000 people. I don't care, bro. Handle your, do your big one. Do your big one. Once I once I dropped the Addy, he had to go straight to criminal, talk about my criminal charges and shit. Okay, that's all you got? That's it? What else you got? Oh, my wife? She's hot, right? You want her? You can't have her? What else you got? You can't break me, nigga. Like, you, just the way you be do- doxing women in the panels and shit like that, nigga, I've been doxed more times than I can blink, bro, in the past four years. Doxing me ain't nothing. Threatening me ain't nothing, bro. You got to try harder than that, nigga. But what really made me mad is not him talking about me, Bratz. It's the way he was talking to you and Alex. That's what pissed me off. That's what pissed me off. That's what pissed me off. Oh, Alex, and I don't like the way that they treat Alex over there. It was people in the comments calling her fat licks and stuff. It wasn't nobody just really saying nothing about that. And that makes me so uncomfortable for her. She goes into that space every single day. And I'm going to be honest, no, I can't go on that side of TikTok every single day. I only went there because Javon and Sauce want to summon me, and they got lucky because I'm up today because I have my godson. Cause y'all know I will be in the bed sleep. And so I took my bobblehead itself in there and I just didn't like what I saw. I didn't like the way they was treating her. Everything that she says is a problem. It gets dragged out. She's the issue. And she be dead right a lot of the times. I don't like that. Haircuts. I I also don't like the fact that the, the main issue, the main issue was the YT woman addressing uh, what, what that other 
person that was trolling was saying about um, um, black men, right? How Javon literally explained it. Then it was, well, you think white people can't have their opinion? Blah, 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 blah. Then someone else comes up, explains it. And then Bratz comes up, explains it. And it's like, it's like this consistent like need to like appease white white tea people that I don't understand because y'all are in messy talk, right? Black people, when we're being messy, it's different. When white tea people add into that mess, it's a racial microaggression. Consistent. There's a racial microaggression coming up consistently. So if you want to consistently get racial microaggression um throughout the live, go ahead. Appease them. But however, like it's just very ridiculous to me that like because we're trying to say that a black woman, uh, we're trying to say like, just because the, uh, she's a black woman, like you as a white woman should not even be in this conversation. On top of that, you literally just showed us that you fetishize black men. And these black men are like, yeah, let her speak her opinion. So if that white woman came up there, right, and gave her negative experiences with black men, would y'all be saying, yeah, let her talk. Yeah, let her talk, let her speak her mind. No, y'all would have ate her up. So, exactly. Like this is ridiculous. We just can't stand on the same type of business that we stand on over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong. All demographics of people pay me on this app. All demographics of people pay me on this app. But I'm not keeping it cute for that check. That's all I'm gonna say. And some people do. They keep. They keep it cute for that follow, for that gift, for that check. And I feel like that's what a lot of people over there was doing. Cause there's no way that the narrative kept trying to be spun to we, us over here hate white people. We've never said anything like that. Because we speak out against racist white people does not mean we hate white people. Javon, I'm listening to the recording when they're playing it back. Y'all really don't know my brother for real cause he's dead get active. And he was so nice to this girl. Like he, he was so nice, sir. Literally, when they played back the thing, I was, because I was there, I was there when it happened. Javon didn't say anything crazy. You, the usual, you know, I was like, the usual crash out. He didn't say anything crazy. And then they tried to gaslight us and make it seem like Javon said, oh, you can't be in this space. And he never said that. Literally never said that. He just he just tried to put a boundary on there, the same boundary that Jaunty uses, the same boundary that Ed has with her white with her YT followers. <laughs> Jaunty literally says YT on YT crime, so like YT YT people can be messy towards each other, not towards us, right? Because when they do it, like I just said, it becomes a racial microaggression. But that's what I'm saying. Like we're not being serious. Imagine we're all sitting at the table and we're having a conversation about the reading levels in the black community, right? And we're like, okay, this person in the black community cannot read above a uh, third grade level. And the white person comes in and they're like, oh yeah, um, you shouldn't be putting black people down like that because you have black children and black family members. We're gonna all be like, see, this is why you should have managed your business. We're not putting black people down. We're addressing something that's an inter-community issue. And that's Brass. what she did. Brass, real quick, I have to make a quick announcement. Right now, it's two times voting for the America's Next Top Hitmaker. So if you haven't voted or you want to pay pay for extra votes, they all count two times now. If you click the link in my bio and go to, you know, who wants to be America's Next Top Hitmaker, I'm currently number one in my, my voting pool. If you guys want to make sure I stay number one, please cast in your votes votes right now. Everybody. Just wanted to put that out there. Um, go ahead. Go ahead. Go, buddy. Yeah, I did state that, doll, baby. I did state that. Or if we're we're talking about, like I said over there, if we're talking about black femicide, or we say, oh, this percentage of black women experience DV at the hands of black men. I don't want no white tea woman coming into the chat and saying, but you have a black father and black brothers, so why would you try to represent black men that way? Because you don't know what you're talking about. You need to mind your business. Now, at first, I thought that's where that lady was coming from. And then she opened up her mouth and said, black men don't take her nowhere elegant, and they always trying to take us to the trap house. And I was like, oh, okay, so we got an anti-black person here. So whilst I don't agree with your sentiment, I still don't agree with somebody else correcting you. And y'all know that's how I am. I don't like white tea people coming on my panel trying to correct the black person. Even if me and a black person is beefing, y'all know me. The moment that white tea person um, used their might to try to interject, agree with me, agree with them, is up because this is a black business. This is an inner community conversation. 
The same way we don't want white tea women chiming in when black men are bashing black women. I don't want you chiming in when a black woman is bashing a black man either. It's none of your business. And, and literally when she's when the lady said <laughs> when the lady said, Yeah, I just I just I just I just F them and have their chair. I see a consistent theme on Messy Talk is that, like like I said earlier, you can talk to these women, the black women, any type of way. You can dog them out. You can you can talk about their kids. You can talk about their cooters. You can do anything to them. But as soon as you say something to one of them black men, you're done. They're going to hold you over the fire. They're going to drag you. They're going to do anything and everything possible because you're not going to talk to them men like that. But then women, the women, yeah, they all free game. Just talk to them any type of way. It just upholds patriarchal, um, patriarchal standards. It just, it's just kind of, I, I, like, it's just. <sighs> but on Sky, Sky, you ask, why do we keep going in diamond space in 2024? Because I'm a messy bitch. That's why. I love the mess. <laughs> I love the hustle. I love the game. And I love being there. I, stop. You, stop. You know the rumors. They already got the rumors out of, about me. Please stop. <laughs> hey, can I say something right quick? This is Brad's friend. I told you. <laughs> can, I, can I say something right quick? Yeah, go ahead. I don't know if y'all watched the Olympics or not. These women on the U.S. volleyball team, they hooping right now. Oh, my God. Y'all need to tune in and watch that. Simone Biles for being um, America's that, most decorated gymnast. Like, she's the goat. Really doing her big one. Please not play with her. That's also why I don't believe that her husband didn't know who she was. Let's be serious. Her husband? Okay. <laughs> Listen. Black men is just, they always want to humble black women. Well, he dropped me. That's it. He wanted to humble her. He wanted to humble her. Kiki Palmer man want to humble her. Uh, baby, calm down. Okay, you know who she was because we've been watching her. We've been we've been on Gabby Douglas. We've been on her. We've been on Shakari. What she said. We know what we we know. We here. Okay. Uh, shout out Oak Cliff. Shout out Shakari. Shout out Dallas. Shout out. Oh yeah, she is one. Most hated. Most hated. Um, Sky said, repeat what you said in the comments, Shorty. Oh, that's dumb. Oh wait, wait, wait. Before you repeat what you said in the comments. Also, the person who owned the 304 account, why is your ad name these 304s piss, I'm sorry, pee me off G? And then why you kept on adding me in the comments talking about G this, G that? You probably don't want to eat me up using my own stuff. <laughs> Whoever you are. It's a little bit embarrassing that you hate me so much, but you want to talk about Brett don't even like you, G. Because who you get that G from, G? Okay, go ahead, Ms. Go ahead, Ms. I was saying that was Diamond's live. Diamond wanted to hear that YT woman. And then Javon wanted to jump in and being like a, a black save save a person. And Diamond just wanna expand her her platform. And nobody wasn't respecting her platform at all. So we should let YT people just use any type of microaggressions. I was gonna say a black woman, a black woman was dogging. The yeah, black and black folks. people were checking her. Literally, so that, oh, well, did you dive your head into the ground when you first woke up? B. What are you oh, talking about? Me and the nigga. Oh shit! I work for a black woman to dog. Like the way that that woman made the black men crash out so bad, though. I'm really embarrassed for y'all because, again, I was in the stage and y'all was in there and y'all was like. This B word, she just sat here and dragged black men. And y'all are mad at the white tea woman for uplifting us. That is yeah. crazy. That is insane. And I'm like, y'all look real good right now. But That's a black woman from the dog performance I've ever seen. What you say, what's that? So a black woman can dog a black man out. Oh, I just use him for. Nobody said that. For, that's, that's how I the, use this. Two plus a white two, woman. Two plus two do not be equal in four for you. Again, there was a black woman that was literally calling that person out. Javon and Sauce and <laughs> we're calling her out. Hello.
They don't be paying attention to nothing. They wasn't. They wasn't. No, they wasn't. Yes, they were. That's the whole reason why they started into a. I'm, I'm pretty sure you I'm not get me out of body. I'm not. I'm not doing it. <sighs> this is what this is what I really be talking about because y'all just be wanting something to hold on to. <laughs> The only issue, again, people were mad because Javon and Saul said, yo, why are you cutting in on this conversation? This is a black issue. Now they been out of body. And I'm be honest. Black men, y'all cannot take what y'all dish out. Don't start recording me. Don't start saying I'm acting like her because I'm not. Not all black men. We know misogynoir is a thing. Unfortunately, we don't have a word for anti-black men. There is no misogynoir. I don't, I don't want to tell y'all about that. <laughs> misogynoir is a thing, and black men consistently, whether they date black women or not, get on the internet, tell us how we need to look, how we too ghetto, how we don't wear our own hair, they don't like this, they don't like that, da 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 <laughs> And this one woman came up on the panel and told y'all that y'all can't take that away. Job, Bye. Um, tell y'all that y'all don't take her nowhere elegant into the trap house. And y'all was really screaming at the top of y'all lungs at nine this morning, though. That's the funniest part of it all to me, is that at nine this morning, y'all was screaming at the top of y'all lungs. I she have to carry a plan B for every black guy. She so the, the thing that pisses me off is that she's sitting there and saying that y'all can't be uh um that the black uh the black man can't be elegant and stuff and y'all are like you know what but the white men the white men the white men like y'all y'all are deplorable y'all are just sad <laughs> y'all are sad y'all not even worried about the the stuff that you should be worried about y'all take one thing and just drag it and run with it. Also, why are we getting our knickers in a bunch because 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 a white woman called us racist? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Like, you can't run this space, go on your side of TikTok and tell white people that they can't come in. No one said that. No one said they cannot come in here. I just want to I just want to point out right quick. Um you just he just said too. Um, y'all wasn't respecting Diamond Space. That space is never respectful. There's never any decorum in there. They they don't even respect her. They don't let her talk. They don't let her do nothing. So I don't. I'm not. And you that's like the white person to go in there and have decorum. So is that a and, dig on Diamond? And that and that's the that's the disrespect that like I mean that's the that's the hypocrisy I kind of see because like Diamond's actively trying to talk and y'all are cutting her off like. Like, y'all are talking about respect Diamond's platform, but like y'all are the same ones that aren't respecting her platform because she's trying to talk and y'all are cutting her off. You got a uh, country, the country bumpkin up there. You got me some fuck, nigga, and up there just screaming at people, and she's trying to say, um, "Let me talk, let me talk," and they not letting her talk. But what are we talking? Okay. But because Javon clocked something that I mean, we all, y y all y'all should have clocked but didn't, it's a problem. He's the issue. Like, hello? Because there's a free platform over there. Is it a free platform or is it a respectful platform? Because it's not... And if it was a respectful platform, then they also should have been, um, they should have been outraged also when the white woman said that that black woman was the lowest of the low. To her, not to all black people, it was to but her. But they're still saying to a black woman as a white woman who also fetishizes black men. But that's her preference. Oh, so, then that black woman got a white guy and a black guy. Come on now. I promise you, I promise you. You don't I make promise, no sense. I promise you. A black woman can't have a black guy, but a white woman can't have no black guy. So okay. anyway, you don't make sense. Anyway, I promise you, if we were to act, if Javon was to ask that, that, that white, white T woman what she prefers in black men, I promise you, I, I put I put I put money on it, fetishization. <laughs> I promise you. Oh, just like a strong black man. All, all, all the usual tropes, like that's that's what would have came out.
Because she's black, she get a pass. Because she could date a white tea man, she get a pass. But if a white woman says that, oh no, you're you're fantasizing. So obviously, um, listening isn't your strong suit. No, Neither is comprehension, because we just said that it was never okay for her to sit up there and bash them black men like that and talk about them hey, black men like mad, that. Uh, and try to up, uphold uh, the white men mm -hmm. like that. And try to make it seem like that it was never okay, and that's why they were checking her. Wait, I just heard, I just heard a bro a, a broke ass box nigga talk to me. What was that? It was oh. me, nigga. Make me mad, nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna clear this whole pan. I swear to God, I'm gonna start crashing out. Yeah. Where is my babe? I don't understand, like, why you just, you just, you're not, you're not comprehending, and I understand that. Like, you know, like the the gears or the the nerves are not twerking and sparking for you. Why y'all talking to this ashy nigga? I know he don't like, listen. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Like that, the whole. Nah, I'm not even gonna upset. hold you, Javon. I saw the videos, nigga. I was looking real ashy in the videos, bro. Like bad. Y'all gotta be my friend and tell me when I look crazy on camera. I will tell bro. you. I tell you that all the time. I say, what are you talking about? We yeah, literally. You know damn well I be texting you. Y'all not be texting me and telling me, yo, nigga, you looking crazy about my sister. I'm telling you that. You don't listen to us. I always text you. Me and sister tell you. You don't listen. Wipe it off real quick. I always tell you that your hair looks funny. We always tell you that. You say you crazy. Your forehead look lopsided. We tell you that all the time. It's crazy. Nah, but I thought I thought you was like being funny. I know you was being serious. No, I mean that You know that. Come on, man. Clock well, it. I got, I got, I got me some medicine for my eczema, for the uh -huh. ashiness in my scalp. I got Love something it. for that. So. Let's do it. Get yeah. you some African <laughs> oil too. Mm -hmm. Definitely got the um, oil. I got you, gang. Is her. that a gray hair? Oh now, my God. can I ask a question? Because I'm, I'm about to be messy. Yes. Uh, Rizzy, why did you send your request in Diamond's Live? What was you gonna speak about? Oh yeah, I, I forgot. J about... Javon, I forgot. Javon got the power to block you. Cause... Sure do. Yeah. What, what, what was your what was your reasoning for coming up into Diamond's panel? What was arguing in the way of telling a white woman that she shouldn't have spoke to that black woman the minute she did? What was your reason coming up there? I was going to talk about her prejudice and, I mean, her uh, remarks in regards to... I was mm -hmm. literally going to talk about what, like, you and Brass were talking about, as well mm -hmm. as Alex. So you was going to come um, up and, and, and talk shit about me? No, I wasn't going to talk about you because I literally put it in the comments. It was a rare win. Mm -hmm. um, Interesting. For you. Uh, but also, I was going to talk about how um, she literally represented um, interracial relationships. The no purpose lady literally represented the interracial relationships as such a terrible, you know, in a terrible perspective. Um, white people are not always rich, but majority of them aren't. Um, so there's one thing. Additionally, um, Using black men only for their pickle is literally fetish fetishization. Um, additionally, what that white woman said um, when she was lowest of the low, I pointed that out in the comments. And when she said, I date black men because of my preference, that's literally fetishization. And I've been to way too many of y'all's debate lives to not know like how like that has how racism works. But I I came up here to talk about why um Jinty sent his like I I personally wouldn't have sent Diamond her money back. I mean like a hundred dollars because I understand like as a creator, like you want to be respectful of other people's lives. But Alex did not deserve the way um Diamond like came like down on her for like no reason. Like Bryson was being so mean to her and um literally was talking about violent acts that he wants to portray. Wait, hold portray on, Rizzy. Like... Oh. Hold on, let me let me let me stop you right there, beloved. I get what you say, but ain't nobody gonna tell me how to spend my money but my wife. That's that's first off, right? Wait. Oh, and sorry, Jensen. When, when I was in there, I was defending Alex. I crashed out behind not just Bratz, but behind Alex too. What are we? What are we saying? Like, wait, I was I was gonna say the I was gonna say the Rizzy. I wasn't I was trying to correct you, Rizzy. I was gonna say in the comments, don't tell Rizzy to rush her words. That's ableist. That's how she talk. Don't do that. I'ma block you. Don't do that. Yeah, like, like, like I, I I get what you're saying, Rizzy, but like, come on, baby, don't don't don't. Yeah, somebody said the count in my pockets. Yeah, don't do that, beloved. Yeah. I'm, I'm a large creator. She a large creator. So that's just the way the, the cookie crumble. You get what I'm saying? Like, I would have done the same thing for Javon and Bratz. If I came up in there wilding and, and cussing and calling people F slurs on their platform, bro, and I knew it could get a ban, yeah, I'm going to make sure I send them something yeah, for, Bryson, for, for the mistake I made. Bry Bryson told me that I always have your, um, your meat in my mouth, um, being super homophobic. I know, I know. I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bratz told me about that. That's why I went over there. Yeah.
on, on mine, etc. What, Man, what bro, like, so weird how, as fuck. How does Dante even get in the conversation? They Y'all always bring him out. Like, I can't stand when people do that. You don't have nothing else to say, yeah. It's so weird to me. Like I don't understand. Like that's like that's like me arguing with somebody on a completely different side of TikTok, and y'all bring Brad up. She has nothing to do with what I do. None of my friends have nothing to do with what I do. I, I came in on my own with kind of saying, what, "Why would you bring Gentia for?" Like I just, I don't, I don't, I don't get that. Y'all right. miserable. You just meet Brad and Gentia, like he was making it seem like Gentia hoes. We, you know what I'm saying? And then mm-hmm. as soon as Dante got into the box and me and him going back and forth, why you coming for Gentia, mate? Like that's insane. You was just me riding and you just trying to. Put Javon with his key name. Like, what's the really team? And I didn't appreciate the fact that as soon as you disagree with him, now he like, I'm gonna take back my my compliments. Thank you. Like, you 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 always oh begging, God. always begging for me to get brats in the lob, and I'd be like, she busy. <laughs> Not going to get her. Let me talk about some. Um, I take my compliments back. Oh no. Okay. Oh no. Oh, you're doing this for gifts for five thousand. Oh, now she's doing it for gifts, but you were just begging me to get her in the lob. You were just. Okay? He was like, Javon, okay with you? Javon, get Brad's in here now. We need Brad's mm-hmm. expertise now. I'm like, oh. Did he not send $25 so she could stay up on the panel? Yo. Exactly. <laughs> so what and are we doing? Alex, Alex was saying the same thing that Brad's was saying, like, the entire time since 7 a.m. And, Jitsi, I get, I get exactly what you mean, and I'm not trying to count your pockets or anything. I just want to, like, kind of show, like, how... I, and I know you were defending her as well as your um, friends and stuff. But I just feel like that whole life was just full of like elderly men that literally just want to talk. Um, That's not there true. Is no... And you're an insane. Oh, too. also, I'm also, I, I don't know if y'all peeped. And again, I ain't trying to be disrespectful to the niggas that was in the box. But I, when I said them old ass men that behind and behind uh, Black Diamond, I was talking directly to them. And they ain't say shit to me, my nigga. Especially when I thought old dude was talking oh. shit to me. I was coming at him crazy. He was about coming Elon? at everybody else crazy. But he was he wasn't coming at me crazy. I thought that shit was funny to me. Respect. Wait, who? Who, who, who you talking you talk about? You talking about Elon? the glasses, bald dude. Oh, you talking about Elo. I know you talking about yep, Elo. Because I was talking about, respectfully, I was talking about them. Like, I don't know what it was if it wasn't the time and respectful. Because I just don't said. understand. I don't understand why 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 every time I don't, I just don't get it. Like this 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 every this all started because I checked the white woman. This that's where all this started. No, actually no, I'm sorry. No. This all started because they allowed for Mac to get on the panel and call Alex Fat. Then I came up and I and I paid twenty five to drop him. Like I don't understand. I don't understand every time that I come in here to defend a black woman, whether it's a black woman that y'all like y'all like or y'all don't like, because I I don't let disrespect happen to black women, period, regardless of who whoever it is. Oh shit. Where, where regardless of whoever it is, I don't like. Same thing with no purpose. She was saying some real anti black things about black men. You think I'm gonna just sit there in the box and let a white woman tell her that she's the lowest of low and that she should know better because she has a black son that was not her place to correct her that's that's the whole point y'all turn that into a three hour long correction of me of alex of derek for absolutely no reason because but no one to, said nothing to bryson when bryson threatened to, sh- to pew pew alex no one exactly. said nothing to that no one checked him when he said no one no one checked Wait, bryson can when somebody he confirmed that happened before we keep saying that please they 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 be they be um taking clips of her live and they post it on instagram um, be real down, then he threatened to do that to be real. He threatened and to then, do something yeah, to, he to called, Alex, but um, I don't think it was he, he, to Alex. He also called Derek right. uh, the F slur as well. Because that wasn't checked was, at all. He was threatened. was saying it like it was sassy i would describe her as being sassy when she was saying it but she was still laughing and then like the moment this girl said she was uncomfortable she just got like she got yelled at and i was like oh she was like why are you saying um if you're not coming to the gala but alex had been saying she excited to go to the gala he coming to the gala but my thing is how are you upset with her about that but bryson you just said bryson said he wasn't going and he hadn't bought a ticket but he threatening your event yeah, like I feel like today okay. was today irritated. was another day where 
we, I don't understand why when we the past four days we was talking about voting and doing this and going out to vote right and the importance of educating our people on who to vote for, how to vote, how to be active in that. I don't understand how now today when we're having a conversation about anti-blackness, we're doing a call in with a black woman to let her know that her mindset is harmful, that this turned into y'all holding black people accountable because we're telling white people to mind their business when we're holding one of our own accountable. If a white person came in here right now and we were holding Rizzi accountable, we're turn we're going, we're jumping down the white woman's throat because that's not her place. Whether you white, whether you're Asian, Pacific Islander, or Indigenous, if you are not a part of the black community, mind your business. Y'all don't check, y'all don't even check racist white men that y'all family or friends with. Why y'all think that y'all gonna come into other panels and check black women or black men when they say something anti-black? A black woman just lost her life on July 6th. Do, do we, did we not forget? But y'all have no problem disrespecting black women anytime, any day of the week. I want to always stand on business. I don't care what space I'm in. Y'all not gonna like, and I gave them the disclaimer. Y'all not gonna like what I'm gonna say. And I said it, because ain't nobody gonna check me. Nobody but, gonna do nothing. Thank you, Brats. But Javon, do you did you notice how thank you, Brats, the, for the, the woman said what she said, and then she ended it by saying, Y'all are racist. And you just stopped her when she said you know, she's the lowest of the low, and you're like, hey, you know, um, we're trying to correct her right now. And then, you know, she ends it by saying you're racist. And then she leaves. So she dumps all the stuff, she leaves and runs. And then they continue to have this whole bash session for several hours. And then that L L E L O man comes and tries to like daddy you and sauce for like two hours or whatever. And she derails the entire conversation and no purpose stays on the panel quiet and it's like this woman literally came dropped a bomb and left it's literally typical white woman behavior and this is what i was like, saying also, also uh, uh, wait, wait, go ahead most hated sorry kofi go ahead most hated you wanted to talk okay. no no i can wait i was just gonna say also that's when if you notice if you looked at the uh, if you look back at the clip that's when um diamond started freaking out once the white two woman said once the white two woman said this type is racist like what <laughs> this is kind of ridiculous that like we're trying to appease people that already have these they're literally the ones that came up with these stereotypes of us like i, I just I, I i i don't i don't understand like like i already said this earlier like you cannot we we can't have this like messy talk thing and then include YT people in it and not and not have racial microaggressions come through it, uh, come come because of it. It's always going to happen. We can be messy towards ourselves. Yeah. But once we add YT people into the mix, them being messy towards us, it's going to always is, is going to always manifest as racial microaggressions. Um, if y'all want the comments back on, y'all have to get the likes to 75K because we can't sit up here and be talking about this stuff freely and y'all not tapping the screen or contributing to the cash app. Or at least give to Dante so he can get up to his 10K goal for today. But also, we as a people have to be educated on things such as racism and like, you know, prejudice and all types of bigotry because we as Black people cannot be racist. They literally sat us down for three hours and talked about how we can't be racist or how we shouldn't be racist to white people. We can't be racist. And they're, they're, these are old heads talking to us, like Auntie Pearl, like I, I, like she annoyed the hell, oh my God. And then Tara comes up and she's like, yeah, I kind of agree. We shouldn't, like, we should, like the white lady, she's like, we should kind of stay out of, you know, these kind of conversations. So they're like, no is that back. all you wanted to say? Nah, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I agree with Reezy. Like, cause she ain't wrong, bro. Like these motherfuckers was in their early twenties when the LA riots happened. So you know how racism played a part in America in the early nineties, you was there. You literally, you was Reezy and Javon's age when all of this happened. And you're going to sit here and fix your lips and say that, 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 that we being racist towards a white person. Like, that's crazy to me, bro. Insane. But Diamond want to see her platform get bigger. That's why she okay, said she <laughs> wants the white tea people to come to her space. Bro, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love Black Diamond down, but bro, you are glazing Black Diamond a little too much for me, gang. That's what she's saying. That's like what the glazing is that doesn't crazy. Make sense. Well, it doesn't make sense. Because John T has white people. The white tea people to come to her platform. But John T has white people that come to his platform and he has boundaries. Correct? Am I wrong, John T? It's about a. No, you're not wrong. 
That's her like, brand. What are you talking about, Most Hated? Eb, John T, all of them have white tea people that come to their platform regularly, and they have boundaries. So, <laughs> who are you talking about? That's her brand when the whole brand is her being. She said black that she diamond having a whole people to come to her. Okay, because I, I don't have. Like the whole perp does she have any white people supporting her and paying her every freaking day? I don't understand. What do you mean that's her brand? And then the whole gala idea is for black. You know what? I'm not doing this because he just say stuff. Just because that's what he just said. Diamond said she want white people on her on her live. You right, must not so hear. Make sure you are clicking the link in the bio. Make sure you are voting. America's next top hit maker, guys. It is double votes right now. Make sure you are going and voting. And nobody's saying white people can't be messy, but be messy within your boundaries. Like, let's be serious. Like, what about that? It's, it's it's just ridiculous. Like, I I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Go, go ahead, Ari. Oh, I only I only came up because you had asked me before, but I was uh, on a meeting. Um, I just thought it was funny how I got blocked for the truth, but it's so it's all right. That was cool. Girl, you always getting blocked. <laughs> the truth hurts. Always getting blocked. All right, who else? Who else need has something to say? Mila, did you? Oh, you only came up to check on me, right? Mila? My sister there? Oh, she probably did it. All right, these comments is moving too slow. I'm gonna just turn them back on because I don't know why y'all not tapping the fucking screen. There's 500 people in here. Can y'all fucking tap, please? Like, this is ridiculous. I made sure I paid my little 25 that I was supposed to come back. Ooh educated no what's funny is the dollhouse paid for me to skip the line and they paid for me to stay after somebody paid for me to be dropped i'm like yeah this is gonna be a long little process for them because little little do they know the dollhouse will do that i'm so sorry but every time you drop me they will bring me back they might not always send me the cash app but they they will bring me back at first i was gonna tell them y'all i don't even feel like it don't bring me back up here Then I ended up staying, and this is where I'm blocking Javon and Sauce off my phone. No, literally, because I only went in there because I saw Javon was in there because she actually had blocked me on her main page months ago because I also said something that was the truth about it being toxic space for black people. Um, and everybody tried to eat me up, and then she blocked me. Um, and then I saw that he was in there, so I clicked on it, and I was like, oh, no. To be fair, I only go in there when I see Jay Vaughn or Sauce in there. <laughs> oh, literally, I was like, I didn't even know she had a backup. <laughs> I thought it went in there because I thought they was going to address Walmart said last night. Because that shit was wild. I, uh, and then I came in there and they having her damn race war again. Goddamn. Wait, what? who said? Omar. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. You were in the comments talking about, oh, but y'all tried to get on me yesterday. What, no, did, what, were you in Nosey's live yesterday when he said what he said about Miss Hillary? No, I was talking about what he was talking about with um. With uh, he came out because apparently Miss Hillary said she was intersex, and turns out Miss Hillary is trans, and then he was like, uh, "You want to talk about me, but you're confused about what you want to be. You're a man trying to be a woman." And then he was like, "You probably got a bigger D than me," and I was like, "What? Does someone not understand what intersex is?" No, she, but she's not intersex. She's trans. Oh. Okay, well, never mind. I was like, what? And nobody corrected it? The Hillary that was in hell? Miss Hillary, Hillary San Sanchez? Sanchez, yeah. I, I, the one who was over here in the comments talking stuff when we was arguing. I don't think that's the same one. I don't know. That talks about Netta and Charles. Yeah, that one. I don't know if that same Hillary was over here. Oh, is they an intersex trans person? I'm not sure. I'm from. 
Hillary said that she's tra uh inter 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 uh intersex, but Omar came up with some extra stuff and was like that that's not true that uh Miss Hillary has came out as trans a couple of years ago. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why we're listening to someone who pro who who thinks not even probably I've heard him say like I don't know why we're listening to someone who thinks that like they're they're, they're the true indigenous people of the United States. I, <laughs> I just, <laughs> Yeah. Bill Bob's yeah, been coming up on my for you page so bad lately. Thank you so funny. much. Thank you. Thank you. Habibi. Thank you for the galaxy. Habibi. Thank you. Love you, Habibi. Love you, Habibi. Love you. I love you too, boo. It was so funny. He came up on uh, Alex Live the other night and he was like, Give me the bunny gun. And they was all sitting there looking like. His voice is so cute. <laughs> and they was like, we ain't got no money guns. And she had to go find some coins to go get him a money gun. I hope Alice responds to me because I really just hate how they just did her. But they do her like that every single live. And I was just like, the other day I asked her, like, why do you keep going back over there? Because they do her like that all the time. Like, they talk to her like she just absolutely wrong and she don't be wrong about nothing that she be saying over there i don't understand so bad. i didn't even know what to say like i feel so bad like that girl don't deserve that body shaming and stuff she don't deserve that also did y'all notice when the yt woman came up to say the same thing that Javon, javon's been saying this whole time Right, because you know we 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 believe that white people like uh, I, I, I'm saying I'm saying. What do you want us to do with that? And she's like, I actually want to say something else. And they literally overrode her and like was talking about something else. They literally shut the woman down, like because her opinion wasn't controversial. Like <laughs> it's annoying. No, Lady Libra, it's no purpose. Right. The Polly Clowns is live, Bruce. Not Olivia. Let me find out. Yep, I remember when I ate Sean up to this day. I want to uh, say something real quick, and I might be instant. Actually, I am instigated. Um, if there was ever a legit, like, quarrel between debate talk and messy talk i think debate talk will cook messy talk respect me respect me does anybody disagree with that no i disagree because um messy talk goes low and um debate talk has some decorum the going low doesn't mean you win beloved Not yeah he over there and, um manny live talking shit still like he gotta, he gotta get a life at this point. I, I think also that question he asked Bratz was such a ridiculous question. Oh my God! In a box, yeah. Bryce, Bryson is still up there. Gentle, you got him, what man. Was the question again: Who can speak on interracial relationships? Yeah. yeah. Such a ridiculous question. <laughs> right, so Thank you guys so much for the gifts. We gotta hit ten thousand diamonds a day. Ten thousand was well, supposed to be on the main account, but I don't care. I'll, I'll, I'll take, I'll take whatever. On TikTok, I have to hit ten thousand diamonds a day in order for me to stay in the program I'm at. Yeah, they, they don't want people to be smart because they were arguing that um, Alex and uh, Sauce and Javon was doing all that pro black stuff, doing all that pro black stuff, using the, that that college that 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 college um, knowledge or whatever that that that. Uh, like, how are you mad? They educated. <laughs> 
I was like, at this point, y'all just bad. <laughs> he came up there. He was like, y'all come up here with all y'all degrees and, and stuff, but y'all call each other the ends. Yeah. The ends. <laughs> the ends and the bees. And I was like, he was like, y'all need some common sense. I was like, you do realize that term common sense isn't what you think it is. <laughs> I was like, y'all need, y'all need common sense. Stop reading all the books. What? <laughs> what? He's so serious. Uh, say something educated, and then they say you chronically on live. And that's why it wouldn't even ever be no quarrel between debate talk and message talk, because I'm not arguing with half of them are dumb. 75%. I was giving too much credit. Half? You got, this, half you got this man fighting the air for real, for real. Half is, a, half is generous. This man is fighting the air, punching the air. Still Wait, what, ha what happened? He's still going? He's still, he's in Manny Live, still going right now. <laughs> he is mad. Who? Uh, Jake Bryson, whoever the hell he want to call himself at the moment. Um. I can't believe he also said he's a p officer. Hello? I am, <laughs> I am an officer of the law. Officer of the law. <laughs> nah, I knew he was stupid as soon as he, as soon as I came up on the panel and he started saying, Brats, I asked for you because you couldn't have asked for me. So. Bro, he was sitting there, he was like, submit, su su statistical mental, <laughs> whatever the hell y'all call it. <laughs> Then I'm then he yelling so loud he don't even notice every time he he can't pronounce semantics I'm unmuting and laughing at him. Also, the fact that he dox himself is crazy. Well, to be fair, I dox myself too. Oh well. Why would you I was about your energy. Mm. Mm. It was weird for him to say he's the officer of the law after making like active threats towards multiple people. That's why I didn't like, cause it was just giving a weird insinuation. Just like a cab. Oh my gosh. Woo. No, him, hey, him, him, <laughs> him going up there and constantly say he gonna slap a nigga down to the ground and do all this stuff to people and go up there and tear the gala up. And then seems like, I'm an officer of the law. I would never put my hands on nobody. But I didn't hear him say he got different careers before, so I don't understand which one it is today. Like that man came up there and said, you're a journalist, an author, a security guard, an officer. I don't know what he is at this point. I was just doing what she said. I'll tell you exactly what he is. He's a faggot ass nigga. Say what I say. Now you broke. Yeah. You ain't got no ticket talking about what you about to do to people at the gala. What gala, baby? You, you, I you said, it, said it with my chest. That's the part that made me mad about that whole thing between Alex and him, because Alex already said she was going. I have a ticket, and it's threatening the, <laughs> threatening the, uh, the likelihood of that gather, and you upset with her because she said eight months ago that she wasn't going. Okay. I'm sorry. I hope somebody recorded, but it was people been saying that in the comments. Her, her call. Let me call her up. Her hardcore supporters were in the comments like, bro, why people always threatening the comp threatening the gala? I'm not going no more. This don't sound safe. He should be dropped. He should be banned from the gala. So I don't know where everybody was just getting oh Alex is so wrong for saying that. Because after like the fifth time of him threatening the gala, I'm like, okay, so what are we doing? Like, I don't wanna hear no shade that you got security there. People still get hurt with security. Exactly. That's why I'm like, and you're saying that, oh, you're mad. She's, she was like, oh, I'm so mad that people, when people mention the gala and did it. I'm like, that's why I'm like, what do you expect? Your whole entire platform is literally built on mess. And then you're, you want this one event that you have to not have any mess. And that's literally all that you're known for. That is what your platform is about. Then you got blocked. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you got blocked. Yes, literally, as I said that, she literally looks at her screen, looks at my comments. I see her scrolling. <laughs> she barely blocks people. That's crazy. That's her second time blocking me herself. Like,
these are the people that your tea is going to be clocked. You don't want peace, that one problem. The silence. <laughs> Did you say hi? Hi. Sorry. I don't have anything to say right now, anyway. So, um. Uh, this one person who was in the comments, they kept commenting over and over again. Somebody paid $20 for me to skip the line. That girl. <laughs> but ate, tried to eat me up. Then you want to add my friend trying to eat her up. And I'm telling my other friend not to say nothing to you for asking for the $20. I'll I be trying to save y'all. And then you want to you wanna cover it. Girl. So I'm the only person seeing somebody saying somebody paid twenty dollars to let me in. <laughs> was it true? <laughs> Mind you, all I said was free <laughs> brats from the request because W Dollhouse and the, I got oh trying to eat me up. She was like, "Chill, y'all don't do all that over the oh somebody just paid for brats to come up." Like, girl, what are you talking about? Don't don't do that. Because I'm only here because I was requested. I didn't just say, hmm, what's going on in Diamond's Live today? No, baby. Well, the one thing I can say, I'm surprised that um, Mr. Brick Window didn't pop up today, Jinty. Because he does it. Every time John T is in the damn space, I miss he talk. He did it yesterday in Mini Live. He was like, yeah, you better leave in the comments. <laughs> right. You know you know, I unblocked him on my main, right? I unblocked him on my main, so if you got an issue, you can pull up. If not, I'm going to block him again. And I haven't been unblocked. What's tea? Javon blocked you, not me. I think I unblocked you. I think I unblocked you on my passport system account when I seen you get in the box, or did I keep you blocking at you in the comment section? I don't remember. I might have kept you blocked and at you in the comment that's section. That's a that's a personal that's a personal boundary with Javon. I'm gonna respect his boundary. So if he don't want you, you out. That's on him, not me. Brad, you talking to me? No, I'm talking to you. I don't know. Hurry up. <sighs> Sorry. Hmm? Wait, is everyone friends again? Who? Oh, that's what they said in the comments. Huh? <laughs> they were referring to me and Javon. Oh. You sure? I don't know. Uh, that's all I'm saying. Like, are we asking, who, are asking, who asking a question? No, <laughs> I don't think that's what she was referring to. Uh, <laughs> oh, they're referring to Taz. Yeah. Uh, uh, Am I saying the quiet part out loud? Yes. Oh, right. Are you asking about? Are you asking about Taz and Ray I, from yesterday? Yeah. Are you talking about Taz and Ray? Answer is no. I don't know. Yes. I don't know no. how we didn't get to the point where I didn't accept that. No, you know, Shelly, don't take a lot, baby. I mean, you was being a little messy. I can't be mad at you, though. I'm messy, too, so I get it. <laughs> that, was, that was a tad messy, but not not too bad. You be all right. I mean, y'all don't know. Mm, Javon, why would you? They don't even know what you're talking about, so they not talking about Shut me. Up, and Taz. My bad. Javon being messy, too. <laughs> like, because they don't even know. Like, you had to be there to know. I thought they were on the app with us yesterday. My bad. No. I mean, at least if a white woman comes up here and tries to clock into you the community, we're not going to let them, you know. <laughs> oh, going. they just try to do that? I was going for my phone. Did they, did they do that when I was going? Who is <laughs> Shelly? Who is Shelly? She just gifted me. Oh, child, let me mind my business. Give me my mind power, please. <laughs> Wait, I, I, I gave you my... I need to forget. Brad's got like 20 pages. Hey, honestly, got my you got my account banned, so... <laughs> It's your, I'm sorry, Brad. It's your fault, and then it's Javon and Don't blame Javon. Me too. Yes, you summoned. Oh, Brad, I was defending you. Alive. But you were saying a bunch of f words, and somehow I'm banned for hate speech. That's the same thing you did to Jordan. But, but he is an f slur. Wait, what you mean? Wait, wait when Genty did that the last time, Jordan got banned. <laughs> hey, what is we really doing? TikTok. That was not me, bro. You got your darkies confused, and oh. now I'm on TikTok head. Wait, wait, what, what, what that, wait, wait. What that, what that one person be saying? Don't blame Javon. Oh, nah, her page really did get banned, bro. 
No, she, I don't know what I'm gonna be at. What the page that she got banana on? She was a mod on there, and it showed it on my mod list. Yeah, it tells you that your mod's a ban. Did they permanently be in my account too? Oh, oh no! Please oh, tell no. me. I don't know. I just it, know it was one of your pages. Wait, click on the page, Gen C, to see if you can still see a profile PRG. picture. I already removed it. Huh? Oh yeah, I'm good, baby. I don't already removed it. That'll oh, be my gosh. third account in one month, G. Please do not piss me off. Um, Brett, he was talking very, very mean to you, okay? And I'm very, very mean back, and that. I can't control myself sometimes. It just rolls off the tongue so easily. Well, roll the tongue back in. You <laughs> <laughs> the nerve to mention your name. That's what's crazy. Like, cause baby, I could go back and forth with you. That's not an issue. But then you talking about some and John T. Don't even realize John T. on the panel. Like, look at you. Look at how you look at. Nah, Brad. He he knew I was up there. That's why he mentioned me the way he did when I. Was Times that whole morning, though he didn't say it every time he said right. it. I guess I must be the missing sibling between Malin and Genty because they mentioned Genty like a motherfucker when they when they address me. I don't understand. They up, they obsessed. What we have obsessed. What we have me cracking up. They wanted to see what happened happen so bad so they could just keep bringing it up. Like, shut up. Y'all are losers for real. The thing that be having me cracking up is when we in messy lives and Merlin sent me the live. Like, I'm not already sitting there watching it. Every time she does that, she be like, <laughs> she I was going to say, I was going to say something, but I'm going to leave it alone because Brad told me to leave it alone. So I'm going to leave it alone. Okay, no, I'm leaving the home. People asking the, you talking about people asking for people to pay for yeah, exactly. Y'all, yeah, you oh, she be oh, that's why I love my sis because she yeah, be my mom. girl, relax. Fuck it ain't even all that. Everybody can wait your turn. Girl, I wasn't even trying to get in the box. I just why you begging for twenty dollars to get in the box? Get out of here. You talking about Trina? <laughs> and then immediately, oh follows. my fucking god, Rizzy, I didn't want to say her name. Javon, when am I gonna be in box from Jinty's purse? I was trying to save her, and then she wanted to be. I'm about to share a lot of Trina. Are you uh, about to share? She's not gonna come up. I wanna know why she talks to me crazy. You annoying. I wanna Javon, know why can someone. Can you walk me from Jinty's like main? No, I'm a Javon, I... don't you dare. Uh, they said no, Vizzy. I'm sorry. Who is they? Ray? Yes, me. Oh, my... why? I didn't do anything to you. Oh boy. <laughs> Hello. Uh, you cap it. What? I, 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 I have nothing to do with this. Why did you do anything to her recently? Where's my babe? Because I'm gonna start crashing out. Who, who is known for stealing shit out of a hotel was begging in the comment section for twenty dollars for she to get her shit. I don't know because she was talking oh, shit. Listen, 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 listen. Y'all gonna no, yeah, y'all gonna, gonna, gonna stop hating on my three point five friend now. Y'all gonna stop hating on. She stole so weed. Y'all better leave my booty. Better leave my homegirl Pyro alone, Javon. Why are y'all leave her alone? I don't care. Tell her to leave me alone. She a bum. Worry about Pyro. Javon, she cool people. Gay, girl. Now <laughs> she's your cool people. No, I got yeah. Yeah. She came yeah. from my life for no reason. All I was doing was being the friend that I always am when I see Brett. Y'all know how I well, Y'all right. I'm gonna leave her alone. I'm gonna leave her alone. Javon, Javon, shut up. Like the, Javon, now I'm you sound always, like the other guy. I'm always in a like, every time I see Brats, right? And I needed them to shut the F up so that I could like really let Brat like Brats needed to go in on these motherfuckers, right? And they wouldn't shut up. So I'm in the comments like, free Brats from the request. We need Brats. We need Brats. <laughs> This bitch wanna talk with some girl relax. You gotta wait your time like everybody you, else. You know, all right, this is what I suggest for Reezy, right? Give it like a week since give him a couple of days to not be around you because your presence bothers them. You get what I'm saying? Like just give him a couple of days. I know, give him a couple of days. What do you mean a couple of days? Forever, never again. Never mind. What are you chatting about? What are we doing? I would say give them time to miss her. Is that what it was? Yeah, no, I'm just saying give her time to miss her. I'm just saying give her, give her time to like, you know, because they might be forgiving. Well, except Ray. Ray don't like you at all. But like, you know, Javon, Javon got a soft spot for black women. So give him a couple, give him a little bit. Maybe he'll change his mind. You get what I'm saying? Because ultimately it's up to him.
You know what I'm saying? It's ultimately up to him. So that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I don't know what energy bit. Ray has against me, but I mean, if she has a you problem. Been, all right, so you know, like, you know what it is? I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, say the quiet part out loud, right? You weaponize the fact that you a dark skinned yeah. woman against her, and you know that whenever she crash out on you, people are going to perceive her as a colorist. And you weaponize that shit, and that's yeah, just not she cool. Me dirty. When there's no evidence that I'm like, that has dirty. nothing to do with you. So color. Yes, 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 color. Yes, color is comic. I mean, she like, like, she, you, me know, you know, like, like that's hold on, everybody knew that. That's hold on, everybody knew that's the thing that that annoys me the most, gang. Like, you weaponize that shit, bro. You weaponize it. No, you don't. know she not gonna say nothing too crazy. You get what I'm saying? Because you know everybody that's cool with her that's dark skin, from Brass to Sky to Taz to me, everybody's going to clock Ray she ends up saying some wild shit. Just like everybody clock Jay Bond when he says some colorist too. You know that they're going to do that. It's weird. You saying exact? Girl, it's not a joke. I'm being serious with you. No, I'm exactly being serious it's crazy. with you too. She's going to be held accountable, so she has to watch herself. Yeah, but, oh, but, but, but that's the didn't... thing I don't like. That's the thing I don't like. We sit, hold on, we we sit here and tell everybody every fucking day that we that we should be policing everybody's reaction. But then Ray got to police, got to police her shit because she light skin, bro. Because you went for your dark skin, this whatever the hell you call it. I'm not I didn't say you were, beloved. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you doing some narcissistic shit, and I don't like it. It's weird. I know, I know what you try to do, beloved. It's weird. I do the same thing with, with straight niggas. I weaponize my queerness against them when they be when they be homophobic and weird and shit like that. I bait them too. So it takes one to know it. At least I'm being honest about it. You not being honest whenever, about it. Like, what she doing yeah, right now? Like, like, whenever it's a messy wait, live, my issue is, is whenever it's a messy live, and oh, you God. say like, oh, it's a messy live, and um, she wants to like, you know, we if we're going at it and stuff, I can pick and pry and like maintain my cool. But if y'all call it antagonizing her, but when she like cooks me, when y'all say, oh, clock it, clock it, W Ray, and like she's poking at me saying, oh, I don't have a man, all that stuff, that's cool. But if I do it without cussing her out, but I point, poke and poke, y'all say I'm antagonizing her, <laughs> but literally, I'm she's yeah. crashing out before me. But that's an issue. But if, I, if she does it to me, then like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, can I go? Can I go now? Because the crazy part is my only issue, right, is the assumption that I would ever like do that. Like I would ever be colorist as a as a way to read somebody down is crazy. Like I would never do that. And so I don't know, like the obsession with trying to get me to go there because I would never go there. Like literally, I, I would never fucking go there. People have, people have said some crazy ish about my son, about my family, and I have never gone there. So the weird obsession to try to get me go there is fucking crazy. Like it's weird, bro. So if you, you don't go there, time, why is that? Because I would issue? never go there. I do not even do that. Because you were raised by white people, and you think that I keep my dog going off because I have a dog. You don't know. No, so you're assuming. You're assuming. Hey, but that I has that has nothing to do with your skin so Okay, so you're assuming that because I have a dog, I keep my dog going off. And stop inviting me.
Mm -mm. Resin. This is sad. Where is my vape G? Like I really, I really, really, really get irritated. G. I hate it when so that somebody happened. is playing a prank on me. Where the cameras at, G? Where the cameras at, G? <laughs> You're on punt. <laughs> check under the couch. I'm telling you, check under the couch cushions. I feel like it's always there. I feel like but I've always I, found my neck. Get that G. I posted oh, been no. off this app like two hours ago, but I can't find what I did with my vape. I just had it. I was puffing it, then my godson came. Dude, what about that, uh, that damn comment he made? About, wait, who? Because there's a, it a bunch of dudes okay. on my address today. Oh, um, <clears throat> no, he didn't come into Diamond's Live, but Omar, if you're listening, because you probably still follow Gen T, you was, you was wrong as hell for making a Leslie Jones comment to Trina. That was weird. Um, I tried to come to correct it, but it was like, I wasn't being let up, but I think that was weird. I know people don't rock with her, but I don't like the comment because you were trying to masculinize her, and that was weird, um, because, yeah. Oh, they being cut over Katrina? Yep. yep. Uh, he, 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 bum bitches. he was like going in like it was like ridiculous. Like, it was deplorable. He was calling yeah, out like bum bitches. Yeah. You dirty bitches. Because initially, like, when they asked her the question, she didn't want to answer because she didn't want to, like, whatever. And they they actively said that they would have fun. How you like messy like, talk, okay, uh, uh, Kofi? I don't like it at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, every time I, I look, I'd be going in. You there, sure? Like, it's kind of fun over there. I don't like <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm not like Look, look, look. I, I just like to hear what, like, the, the, the like, that the I like the I don't even know how to explain it, but like like the stuff they be saying to yeah. each other, like I just like, that whole um Kiana and um uh, heart, heartbreaker situation mm -hmm. that went too far. It's just it's a I'll be in there for like good like maybe like thirty minutes or so, or maybe like an hour, and I'll just be like, yeah, I can't take this anymore. And somebody yeah. need to thump that lady in her forehead for what she did yesterday. Somebody need to thump that lady in her forehead for what she did yesterday. Okay. He's scared okay. the hell out of me. Don't, don't pew pew me in my foot, but I just try to catch a nosy recap. I'm just saying. That just scared, that scared the hell out of me yesterday because Kiana was talking about HB titties and she was like, you want to see them? And she she was like, yeah, well, yeah, you know, you know, yeah, let's see them. And then she going to put her titties on that damn green screen and scared the hell out of everybody. Not once, but twice. I scream. I almost threw my phone. Oh. 
Who? HB. Mm, okay. It was bare titties on the screen. But, but the me, Brad, and Derek are banned right now, and y'all on live showing y'all y'all parts, but y'all don't get that's crazy. <laughs> I screamed. I was like, no. Well, y'all got banned? Yeah. Oh. Yep. Yikes. Uh, update, Bratz. Did you find the vape? Have we found it? Oh, gee. Fuck. <laughs> the stuff, like, the stuff they be going to hell about, it have no, no, make no sense sometimes. I don't... Mm. Hey, Eb last night said that was a promo for her. <laughs> Listen, cause I forgot. It was something about like, um, Kiana had told somebody that uh, they get bent over or something because of the way they talk. And who was it that she said that to, though? I know somebody in here, baby, on Messy Live. But she, she was uh, Messy Talk. She was like, the way that you talk, you probably get bent over. You're gay and stuff. And she was like, that doesn't make sense because uh, HB said that doesn't make sense because somebody can say that about your husband who spent time in the prison system. And then they went. Yeah, she said that about breaking. That's what she said about. She said that about breaking. And then she was like, somebody can say that about your husband who spent time in there because he's been around men for all these years that you wouldn't that wouldn't make sense. And then that's when they started talking about people, kids and and stuff and. Every, uh, I don't know why. They're... So, um, a lot of our supporters are saying they don't like messy talk too much. I get y'all. I go over there to have fun, but I'm gonna correct it. Um, even though my mentor are gonna be on the line, I can deal with it. I know some people are like, nah, I can't do it. Javon, I know how y'all do it. Grass with sex and she's like, I know how y'all be doing this every day. I said, listen, you to it. Um, when you grow up with a dysfunctional family, that's kind of how I treat it. They are a bunch of dysfunctional people over there. I kind of treat it the same way. In, in all honesty, I really just go there to see if you or Sauce can make a breakthrough. <laughs> we mean, have I'm, we have been successful and we've also failed at the same time because like I can't I can't I can't I, I can't go back. I, I was kind of I was kind of happy I got banana because I, I can't. I couldn't do it. Like I, mean, I had a if, whole tap tell me I'm not black. I'm col I'm melanated. In the midst of me arguing, uh, uh, what's his name? James, the one that you, you remember, Jen, see the one that fucked his cousin had a baby on her. Um, ah, oh, uh? um, he's, he's oh, that's host the tab. one that said that. That's the one that said that y'all be using y'all's college knowledge mm -hmm. and all this. Oh, yeah, he said I'm not black. I'm melanated, even because he go to whole tap memes. Yes. Yes. Um, Are you talking about the one who abused his daughter online? Online that our camera made a video about. Yes, yeah, him. Yep. Um, <clears throat> mm -hmm. He abuses. He abused his child on live, and he said it was a challenge. A challenge. Mm, that was not a challenge. And like that was straight up abuse. Wait, wait. A challenge like a like a TikTok challenge. Like a TikTok challenge, show, Yes. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Never trust people who never trust people who braid their beards. I. <laughs> it's just something about people who tie their beards in a knot. It's just. Oh, so don't go to Philly then, cause come to New York then. Oh God. <laughs> uh, no, it's just a lot that we having over there. And like I was gonna say, if uh Alex and Shar can't get them to seek reason, mm -mm, Javon and no, they uh, they be they <laughs> they they be they be um pew pewing down Shar and Alex all the time. That's Alex what I'm saying. The one of it. Um, but like I said, I don't know. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Like I said, I'll be back over here tomorrow. Um, cause I'm not ussy. I like the challenge. I'm gonna do what I do. Um, that's fine. I'm gonna let everybody cool off. Usa, whatever. The, I don't appreciate people though. I do. I will say that I don't appreciate people using Diamond's, uh, event to, um, to want to fight when somebody you know somebody you know somebody getting pew pewed over there right nah don't say that then too no nah, somebody's gonna get hurt no nah, i don't think that's gonna happen i want to put that in a realist. i know but i don't want to put that out there 
I think the same thing. I'm, I don't want to do that. I'm an eight. Javon, you know I don't believe in none of that. I'm an eight. I know. I'm a realist. I, I know, but I'm just saying, like, I, I, for me, like, I, because of how I grew up, every time something like that got put out, some shit happened afterwards, and I don't want to put that out there. Because I, I feel All like right. if you got to okay, wait. Mm-hmm. No, I was going to say that I apologize. I won't say pew pew. I believe that someone's going to be confrontational. Is that better to say it? I, I, you could say that. And I feel like, I feel like if y'all wait, that's like when, when, when Blam was doing his events and, and doing annual Blamings. And I, I feel like when those are, those are, those kind of events are for individuals to come together to, to network and collab. I feel like if you wait, if y'all wait until September 14th, today's date is July 31st. If y'all wait a month, almost a month from now, to want to fight someone that says something on July thirty first, but Jay Vaughn, yeah, but Javon, what are bums and truck drivers meeting up oh, to network about? <laughs> 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 I'm so curious. What is there to net? I just, I just, <sighs> I don't know, child. It's a part of flashing on going anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, Maze in the comments. Look at Maze. Sorry, I don't like that, man. Where? I heard that Maze did some wild shit the other night. You did. I heard Maze did something wild too the other night too. But I was not, yeah, I wasn't here, so I didn't know what happened, but that shit is crazy. I don't know. I hope, I I really hope the hard event goes on without a hitch. I would hate for that. Oh, My phone God, says, shut the F up. I would hate for that to happen. But I know where Gentry's coming from. A lot of y'all don't have no decorum online, so I'm not going to expect y'all to have decorum in real life. That's why when I I got before I go to an event that any of my mutual is hosting, I gotta know who's gonna be there because I'm not trying to get into no fight and no suit. That's not happening. Um, I don't go places to fight people. We don't do that. I feel like people in our spaces aren't like decent like that though. No, we no no, and and not. I'm just saying, like when we go to other side of TikTok, I'll be like, y'all be doing too much. I ain't never that deep. Like I know I'll be cussing something out, but I don't ex- is I don't be saying nothing super crazy out of pocket. But you know, mm-hmm. people gonna do what they gonna do. I can't really tell grown people what to do. Um, it is what it is. Why y'all beefing at 1 p.m.? We not beefing, Lady P. They shit. We just came from out of the, the morning show, and we recap it. Ari really just made me realize something. I did not realize how many truck drivers be coming up. <laughs> it's a lot of truck drivers what? over there. What? That is a CDL coalition over there. That's a CDL coalition. That's a fact. I, I, just okay. want, I just want you to know, Kofi. I would. I, there's a couple people on this app that is from this side of TikTok that if oh, I were in real life. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, sure. I, I, I was wishfully thinking. I was I, look, you know. Let me just go on. Mute. A lot happened, so I didn't know where we're coming from. Love you down, Kofi. <laughs> we couple. need we need five thousand diamonds, Chad. We need five people to drop a galaxy. Let's go. You know what? Maybe. We don't have to deal with this with favorite. Because uh-huh. <laughs> I didn't get banned Brass, yesterday. Brass, did you get my screenshot of what I sent you yesterday from the gifts I got from uh that app? Oh, Brad's probably texting or something. So, I'm gonna tell y'all my chicken nugget story while we're waiting. Oh, wait, we'll let her go ahead and talk. Brad, did you hear me? You saw it, right? You need to get up on that app, sis. Tell him. Get on it. Because we made the ranks yesterday. We finished at number four. We all made the ranks. Oh yeah, all we did. <laughs> Never. Y'all, I get y'all get trying? Y'all, y'all trying to do that again tonight? Uh, y'all trying to do that again tonight? Yo, yeah, I'm down. I beat you, Javon, when you got off. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't know what the app you're talking about? There, there's a new app. It. Yeah, there's a new app called Favorited, and it's a live streaming app. Like, like you see how we live streaming on TikTok right now? It's the same uh, setup but like a little bit different and you can also do topics and um you could you could do battles too only thing you can't do yet is make videos but it's just a live streaming app for right now and i did 92,000 92, diamonds yesterday and i'm not fixing to tell the public how much i made but let's just say i made 70 percent of what however it costs to send those diamonds instead of it being 30 to 50 percent on tiktok it's 70 percent on that app 
Mm. Okay. So yeah, I will definitely be making my way back to that app tonight. I still got to hit my quota of 10,000 diamonds a day on TikTok so I can keep my program thing that I'm under TikTok with so I can go to their trips and shit like that. I still got to maintain a monthly minimum of whatever, like 30, 300,000 diamonds or whatever a month. But on that app, that's where I'm primarily focused on my diamonds from now on because I make way more on there. And everybody needs to get up on it. Everybody. Na na woo, na 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 woo, na na. Woo. It sounds like it's still like I'm in the Bronx right now, Javon. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> this is definitely giving Bronx behavior. Shit. I'm trying to go to Massachusetts. That's what I'm trying to do. Massachusetts? Like, Why the fuck would you go to that weird ass state? Seems, hey, first of all. Oh. Sorry. Welcome up. Sorry, Ray. My bad. Right. <laughs> their their, 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 their basketball team won the, the NBA finals. <laughs> you mean my <laughs> basketball <laughs> team won? Shout out to the Boston Celtics. Oh, that's, that's my team. team. That's, 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 that's my team. team. No, 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 no. Because you want to talk all that big shit about Massachusetts. You don't get to say that. No, I've been a Boston Celtics fan since I was six. Team? I don't care. Does, wait, does, does, does Jersey have a basketball team? <laughs> I was a team? fan. No, we did. She and we did. went to the final two years in a row. Actually, thank you. Does the, the Bronx have a basketball team? Jason Kidd. Exactly. Never. The Bronx ain't got a basketball team. Well, they got a baseball team. Though. New York. They got a baseball York, team. The, the Brooklyn Nets and the New York Knicks. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Oh, Brooklyn. my God. <laughs> uh, I started like, it wasn't the Bronx Knicks. <laughs> right. What did we do? <laughs> no, nah, I mean, the, Bro the Bronx got baseball. The Yankees. Shout out to the Yankees. Right. Y'all got that. They got the greatest franchise in the history of sports in the Bronx. Dude. They got it. Also the most hated. <sighs> I'm just gonna let them talk like Texas don't have the best sports teams, but you know what? Right, oh, Deanna, thank awesome. you for watching you the documentary, about, love. I appreciate it. The documentary. I just did the math and that's a lot of coins. Lady P, don't tell nobody about being this, but you see what you see how much I made, right? I'm just saying, if I do that every day, I'm paying for Javon's college tuition. Uh, go to hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, can we do like a, a ban on DoorDash? I want to talk about that. Why? Mm. I feel like we should do that. Because them are some thieving, conniving bitches over there at DoorDash. <laughs> oh, okay. If all they do is steal people's food and lie. They're thieving, conniving bitches. Do you know how upset I was that I wanted me to get me some chicken nuggets last night with this broken ankle and they didn't, they stole my food? They must have even conniving bitches over there at DoorDash. LaDasher? Yes, they always steal my I food. Mean, I ain't gonna lie. Guys, you have to use Uber Eats. <laughs> you have to either use Uber Eats or Grubhub. Yeah, but you know, like, if you, like, order it through, like, the app, like, the actual food app, you can't tell who their delivery is until you, like, you know, I don't order usually from like the Uber Eats or the DoorDash app. I order straight from like the merchant app. Like I order straight from the Wendy's app. Um, them bitches uh, go Wait, my not my Grubhub. Someone Jada said Grub Grubhub is the same way too. No, not my Grubhub. They, they deliver. On yeah, Grubhub is horrible. The, when I used to use Grubhub in mm. DC, yo, they would still, they would literally pick up my food and then deliver it two seconds later. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, so can we resolve this issue between Ray and, and Rizzy? Yes. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> no, uh, no. Let me make this abundantly clear. Absolutely. Javon, you want to solve this light skin on dark skin crime? Oh, uh, shit. Sure. Oh, my God. That's you say number one. Why would you say that? <laughs> Why? It's not even about that. My issue is that'll never be fixed. I'm sorry. No. There is no I think, I think y'all would be really good friends. No, we wouldn't. Never. <laughs> Ever. I know I'm lying. <laughs> no, I, 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 I honestly, I honestly believe it. I think, yeah, I think y'all would be the best of friends. Y'all are cooked. Did y'all not remember what you said about me and my family? Are we okay? Yeah. Are we good? I think that was a lot. Yeah, that There's was no lot coming back from that. If I'm not going to let Taz apologize to me about my son, uh, uh, True. Rizzy has said worse. Respectfully. True. You got That's me effed up. That'd be crazy. Listen, yeah. listen, Brad, Brad, Brad called me a bitch ass nigga. We the best of friends now. Oh, what shit happened? I'm sorry. And Javon did too. Oh, she ain't talking about your kids though. Are we gonna compare that? Cause she ain't talking about nobody's nah, kids. Nah, no, I'm just trying to make no. you feel better right now. Damn. <laughs>
No, because I'm not going to say that, Javon, because you know I get, I, ooh, you know how I get. I like, know, child. I'm not get. trying to lighten the damn mood. Today's been a lot. I don't know, I don't know why you thought that was going to light the mood. I don't know. I <laughs> Wait, wish for Wait, thinking. Try. Listen, it's a thought that counts, Kofi. It's a thought that counts, bro. <laughs> For a dollar, you can see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she tried, she tried, she tried, That's like, so real. Wait, how much is the vape? I don't know. I know, like 30. I don't even want to go. In the house somewhere, you can go. Yeah, yeah, look underneath your couch and everything. Look at your, your bathroom, Ooh. look at your kitchen, look everywhere. Ooh. That's me. I be then, when I be looking for my headphones on my phone, I be leaving that shit everywhere and everywhere. Wait, right. One time Jeez. I found my pen in my kitchen drawer. Like, I don't even. Wait, you be buying the 20,000 puffs? So don't eat me up, but yes, my thing's for like $30. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel you too. I just, I just got one the other day. $30 because, like, <laughs> I we are not even touch the have, pizza. We're not supposed to have flavor vapes out here, y'all. Like, a bass, we're not supposed That's to. illegal? It's illegal, yeah. Oh, not it being illegal. That's hard. Illegal where? Oh. In mass, we cannot have flavor base. We can't even have Newports, bro. We can't have menthol anything. That's so cool, bro. So that's I get it from, I get from good, the dude actually. down the street. He like has a the store. He just don't care. Do oh, all of y'all lied to me. Y'all was lying to me. Y'all told me I couldn't have no vape in Mexico, and I was down there vapeless, having to survive off of Dave days. And I don't know what was wrong with them base, but they was weak. <laughs> I get, I get mine from the dude down the street. He runs a store. He just don't care. You gotta like. Get in with him, and then he gives you this thing called the book. And when you pull out the book, they need to ban all cigarettes. Ain't no longer. Talking about nicotine vapes. We got. Yeah, we, we got talking about gas pens or whatever. They yeah, analog you slowly like over time. Are nicotine vapes or like or like cards? Yeah, like menthol vapes and sh like. Oh hell no, ban them too. What? I'm saying that's why I say I got it from yeah. down the street. So if y'all don't visit me, I got a book. I got the book up down the street. That man got he got this thing called the book, and it got all the flavor names. the book. Like, he in his car, and so when you pull up, you're like, "Yo, can I get the book?" And then yeah, <laughs> y'all got a plug for me. I sure do. Oh, I sure do. Y'all thought I was gonna survive? But nicotine. You know, sometimes I'm glad Texas don't care about us. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> they already be dragging us. Shut up. That's crazy. So what Texas be doing? Let me remind me. No, don't tell him shit. <laughs> Shut your ass up. That's to a more place. That's what Texas be doing. Oh. You know what? You know what? Don't uh, and, wait. Didn't y'all um? Didn't y'all governor bus a bunch of uh, hey, migrants about to New York? And this is why I said, don't you say nothing about Texas. Why he hasn't given the money to the mayor yet? I'm mean, we're still waiting. You know he yeah he need to get real um no that's ableist I can't say that. Yeah, you can't say that, boo. Well, you just can't um. say what was somebody slow? No, no I was gonna say that. Oh. Uh, no, our governor uh, Greg Abbott is in a wheelchair, and I was gonna say something, but I can't say that. That's ableist. But is it really? My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I, is it I really have a feeling I know what Kaz is gonna say, and I've I've thought it a couple times. I've been hey, right into the Trinity winner. Uh, right into the Trinity. Right into the Trinity. Um, I say oh, um, um, oh, my bad. Let an alligator guard by his people. Heidi, by the way, Heidi, thank you for the cash app. And Heidi, I think Heidi hooked you up, uh, Brad. I was trying to thank them. Thank you, Heidi, and thank you, Carlosha, for the cash app. Thank you for donating um, to my big bank. I'm just going to continue to soak here until we make the amount for a rechargeable Mr. Fox. <laughs> Wait, how much of the vapes there? It depends on where you get them from, but rechargeable ones, the switch be like, it can be 20 if you, you know, you looking cute. If you know, you know. Not pretty perfect. Or it could be 25 and 30. Oh, man. Yeah, mine's 30. Hey, hear me out. Why not just get the one with the marijuana in it? You know, you come out with here. And why not just get a card like or like a, a disposable? No, I have one here right oh. now. Um, they tear off my throat so bad though. Like very strong. That is true. That's true. That's true. This is the reason I'm coughing like this. Why you're big foreheaded behind talking about Massachusetts, Genty? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fourteen. But that's why I said in August it goes up because AC. You're still trying to act like he can't hear. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Talking about Massachusetts like that, knowing dang well we the ish. <coughs> oh, oh, oh. 
Yes, yeah, we I've, are. I've, I've, I've never, I've so never true. in the history. I'm, hold on, hold on. I've never in the history of niggadom ever heard somebody say, "Yo, I want to go to Massachusetts on vacation." I was just gonna say that. <laughs> Yo, bro, anybody yes, ever said, do. Say, "Yo, yes, I want to, I want to, I want to go to Massachusetts for the summertime." Get the fuck out of here, bro. And, um, okay, okay, we have the best right crazy now. Crazy work. It's not my fault that y'all have free assumptions about mass and never actually went because to Because of the school. Boston Tea Party, Boom. right? It's not my okay. beef and not my problem. We're real Hold on, Brad, Brad, you said who wants to go to Jersey? Everybody on the East Coast want to go to Atlantic City no, in the summer. That's not yes, they do. That's BS. They want to go to Wildwood and they want to go to Cape May and Asbury Park and Seaside. They that's just want to learn the hip dance. That's they just want to learn the hip dance. So, and somebody who is not from New the York. East Coast, I'm just pointing out that I've never heard nobody say, I'm going to Jersey for my birthday. Exactly. Where do you think everybody Jersey's went during the lockdown? Everyone's Jersey's in the most city. Place. Yeah, yeah, Jersey's the most place. It's the first time. of the people the most I moved. And I think like 2023, people had moved to Jersey the most. Out of all three. Thank you. Like, what are we talking about? People oh, love Jersey. Jersey. I hear everything that y'all saying, but nobody um, where I'm at is talking about going to Jersey or fucking Jersey. So, I'm well, we're very far, Brad. You guys are far I'm from us. Saying, I'm just saying it's just I not ain't. happening over here where I'm at. I never heard. Let's have a girls trip to Jersey. Yeah, the the N words be outside. Man, I tell, tell you, I'm telling you, telling you, Brad. Tell the people who love coming to Jersey. Jersey. Sure. <laughs> I just want to know who wants saying. to go to Boston, though. Right. Yeah. Let's go back to Massachusetts. Why are we going to the most segregated to... city in America? <laughs> okay. First of all, Vacation. first of all, Boston ain't even that bad. Okay. They have the good clubs over there. I went over there for my no. birthday. Um, Genty, don't be looking like that because it's actually really good, and the beaches over there are really nice. So anyway, hey, I uh, uh, I want to also put lit. out there um, six 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 Italian motherfuckers. From New York, literally changed reality TV forever in the Jersey Shore, and Come everybody on. been 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 dick riding Jersey ever since. Respectfully, and we got Jersey club music, and we got the most casinos outside of Vegas in the entire country. What's crazy Clock is it. half of them aren't even from Jersey. That was the only annoying thing. Clock Clock it. It. Y'all just need to come out here, go to Cape Cod with us. It's lit. It gets crazy mm -hmm. in the summer. It gets I'm actually back in for Jersey, wild. so y'all can have her. I don't know why y'all attacking me in the comments because I never heard that before. <laughs> no, honestly, Brad, I understand because even um being it's from Jersey and near Massachusetts, I've never heard anyone say they were going there. Um, Let's go. To do Cape we have Cod. Do we have legal three hundred four work? All right, you got that. You ate that. Okay, and how much is it? Yeah, oh, it's, yeah, not, it's not legal. It's not legal to be a three hundred four out here. Diapers. Oh yeah. Also, Brass, did you check well, under your pillow? Everybody said they want to go to New York um, in the summer either. They typically said that they want to see like Nepal. what? I mean, no shade, but I'm from Chicago. I, I want y'all to keep this in mind. Like, we think we the biggest city. We don't care about none of y'all shit. I'm not trying to be rude or nothing. Mm -hmm. So typically, people don't say they want to go to uh, New York in the summer. They usually say they want to go see the ball drop for New Year's. But I've never heard nobody say, like, I want to go there for the summer and I want to go to New York. Now, I have seen people on vacation for their birthdays in New York, but I wouldn't really call it the summer. It'd be the spring birthdays that be doing it. But I, I cannot like, believe what I'm hearing right really, now. It gets really hot, Gentoo. That's the thing. Like, a lot of people don't. I would not come here in the summer. Are you crazy? It's hot as, like, it's disgusting out here. Oh, you mm -hmm. ish? It's nasty, bro. And the I, 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 worse. I, I am worse. shocked at what I'm hearing. Nobody wants to come to New York. I'm not, I'm not even trying to meet Rod New York. Bro, New I York is New York the first. mecca of the summertime. Everybody show out in New York City in the summertime. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. Oh. I hear people good. That's not what I said. I said oh, what you say? I hear people say, I want to go to New York for the summer or for my birthday. That's what I said. I never said people are not going to. Oh, I, that, that I misheard I you. My bad. I also said that I see people post their little birthday pictures in New York, but it's usually those spring birthdays. Typically out here, people say they want to see the ball drop on New Year's Eve. Like we, a lot of us just used to seeing New York on TV on New Year's mm -hmm. Eve. And that's what we want to see instead of, uh, you know, I don't be it's seeing not even fun. on the like, I don't see y'all talking on them headlights, so I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm sorry. You, y all, y all, they got Times no, Square. I'm, I'm not gonna let you know, Times Square, so I went there for New Year's, 
one year, mm-hmm. literally like two years ago, I went to go see the ball drop in person, New York. I'm never doing that again, bro. First of all, it was freezing. Secondly, mm-hmm. there was hella people, cold as hell, horrible. Mm-hmm. Never again. So I'm never going to that line again. They I'm not doing it again. The bro. Heck out of NYC. I swear. Like, it was horrible. I hated it. I'm just saying. I don't understand. Notice how we stopped talking about Massachusetts because it's irrelevant. Right. Right. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Yeah. You know what? Again, like I said, until you've been to Cape Cod in the summer, don't speak. What's a Cape Cod? I don't mm-hmm. know what Cape Cod is. Only Cod I knows fish. I, no shade, friend. I do be forgetting about Massachusetts. So we just want to, you know. It's a forgettable forget state like Rhode Island. Island. Um. You know? Wow. Uh, no? That's crazy. Y'all are haters. What is <laughs> going do, on? Uh, I, I do want to visit like somewhere random, like a uh, Kansas. I just want to know what's there. I just like who be Toto, we're Kansas? not in Kansas anymore. Now, <laughs> now y'all better not eat me up and be like, we all go to Kansas. We all go to Kansas. Who go to Kansas? <laughs> exactly. Don't go to Kansas. Um, nah, nah, nobody goes to Kansas. Me and y'all better go to Colorado than y'all, Kansas. But Brad, yeah. did you check? Did, did you check fun. under your pillow? Cause my baby hiding under my pillows. Same. Me and Kofi sitting here like they don't come up here and blow up Texas every single year. Only for your barbecue. Um. Now no. Texas, I do hear like people people being like, "Oh, I'm going to Houston." <laughs> you know, I yeah yeah I hear that. I never hear that. Yeah, I wanna I wanna say something very serious about Houston. Uh, prayers to everybody out there because I heard there's a HIV pandemic going yeah. on over there. Oh, it's serious. It's no serious. Way. No joke. It's, it's real Houston. serious. <laughs> I am in Dallas. It's bad. So I saw I saw, I saw, I saw a video. I'm in Dallas. I saw a video of this <laughs> young lady. I, I saw a video of this um, young lady who works in the hospital in Houston, mm-hmm. and she was breaking down crying, like so upset at how many people that she saw get diagnosed with HIV. Oh, wow. And just seeing like their soul leave their bodies, like when they like it's bad, bro. That's yeah, crazy. it's bad down there. It's because uh, Houston is where majority of the college towns are. Um, Houston uh, is more um, like a tourist attraction. You don't go to Houston to go and settle down. You go to Houston to go live out being a hoe, and then go everywhere else to settle down. <laughs> um, Houston's what the three or four is in. Yeah. Let me go get down the people who are in the Houston land area, if that's what they call it out there, I don't know. Um, just just be very careful, guys. If you work jobs where you have to, like, take out trash and things of that nature, be extremely careful with the trash and stuff right now. Sometimes people throw, you know, like, things like needles and stuff in the garbage. I don't know what they was doing with the needles. It doesn't matter what they was doing with it. But we don't want any accidental pokes or anything. So just, you know, number one, you know, be careful sexually and... You know, we don't want no accidental pokes either. Make me a mod real quick. A op just came in here. You didn't make me mod. I don't know why this person's in this live. <laughs> Where the last nigga keep following me to different lives? At this point, y'all want to eat my, my butthole out. Make me mod. Wait, so wait, hold on. Wait, who's the, who's the, who's the op? Nick, Whoa. block his weird ass. <laughs> oh, Nick, Nick, block me. him. I keep coming in here. Who the fuck is Nick? Why do you keep making it? No, I'm finna just pop, pop it to you, ho. Y'all want to be on message talk so bad. Y'all would be in drama every day. Ciao. I don't know why he in here. <laughs> Not the booty, ho. <laughs> That's what it's given. Like, niggas have following me into different lives. It's insane. I, I don't know who Nick is. Just make me mad, child. All right, hold on, hold on. Brad, sex okay. me. I couldn't hear you. When y'all gotta go, if you're. I said, I'll drop, I'll drop. You are not beating the allegations, number mm-hmm. one. And number two, y'all will be able to talk so big, like, stop saying people names. What's the thing? Stop ignoring people. Who cares? Um, what is that noise? Me. That's him. My, that's, my that's bad, him. my bad. I'm outside. I apologize. I'm just, I'm just saying. Oh, actually, you know what? Next time, I'm just set the group chat to I should know I said that loud. That's my bad. Today has just been a day. Let me see. Hold on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Never mind. Carry on, y'all. Go ahead. Hi, right, Ev. Javon, can you send me a screenshot of that boy page? Because I really don't know who he is. I'm trying to find it. Give me one second. 
Yeah, let me keep my my FML clothes for your custard again. I can't find it. They're not in here no more. That's the person that came into your panel the other day, the other week, Jensi, the man who talked to me. Oh, that Nick? Yes. Oh, the football. Oh, okay, yes. okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he saw he saw that you got caught lacking, and he tried to take advantage of that shit. Yeah, that was me. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Yeah, that was me. Mm -hmm. if, if Nick is watching this, respectfully, that was some weak ass shit, bro. You saw, you saw Javon made a mistake. You saw everybody on his ass, and then you wanted to come in and get your licks in. That was that was pussy behavior. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say it with my chest. That was good. You found your rate. No, but I found my black button. <laughs> <laughs> that was towards me. <laughs> no, I just looked up. I'm not the mm. text all. This is actually crazy. <laughs> he really do. Um, what's up, Ed? <clears throat> hey, Auntie. Hey, Ed. Talking about the black people. Um, my, my baby not gonna say it again. My baby not gonna say it again. So everybody mute up, mute up. What he talking? Cause he's not gonna repeat it again. It's gonna be his last time saying it. Go ahead. Hey. Hi, baby. Hey. Okay, go ahead. Oh, man. About your day. Cause for real, don't ever not respond to him. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about the blight blondie Virginian uh pangeans. That's crazy. The strays being caught while I was asleep. That's crazy. <laughs> what are you standing up for? Are you finna bust a move or something? <laughs> Not for free, hell no. <laughs> no, they, they asked me to dance on live. I said not for free. You will? You ain't dancing for these suckers. I don't know. I'm being right. right Which king? It's always going to be drink. Choice is always drink. Which is going to be mad at me because I have not eaten today. It's just hard to get up and get, keep moving on this damn ankle. It hurt. I will confirm the allegations of people in Dallas can't drive. I'm, I'm just going to push it out there like that. That's why I'm crippled uh, in this situation right now. Oh, yeah, we've been on that. <laughs> Guess where I was at when I got into my record coffee? Um, so because I actually looked this up to see, like, the, the most dangerous um, <gasps> highways in, um, in Dallas, I'm going to guess it was most likely 35. It was definitely 35. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Wait, which exit, though? Um, I don't know my exits. <laughs> I wasn't driving, so. Was it near where where we live, or like further? Like closer to downtown. Oh, so the main thirty five. Yeah, the main thirty five. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> where where the where the highways combine? Mm-hmm. Where you know where they just fixed it, 
So people mm-hmm. that haven't been around here for a while don't know how to drive over there. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you're okay, though. Yeah. I just don't understand why people speed through there. Like they ain't got no damn sense. That's how we end up getting into this situation. Actually, it was like really. Actually, I like to watch in the comments. I like to watch. Please stop recording me. Please do not put me on your page. Like, no shade. I don't care when people record my debates and stuff. But y'all, some of y'all only want to record me when there's some drama or some messy stuff going on. I don't want to be associated with messy talk. I don't be over there for real unless my mutuals are over there. Please do not record me mentioning me up in your your titles of your shit. Like, no. If you want to come record my life when I'm talking about issues in a black community, that's fine. I don't care about that. But I don't want to be on these messy TikTok pages. Mess- I, don't, I don't do all that, bro. I just went in there. All I see is Manny. <laughs> Wait, they posted us? Who's saying I didn't post that loud today? Yeah, I probably did. No, well, that was one video. It doesn't matter. She mm. said she won't be posted. She no, won't be posted. No, it's not one video. It's another video, and I'm in the box on your on your account. I just checked your whole account. It's another video, and I'm in the box. I'm not even being rude. I'm just asking because some some people just like to record the bad, the messy. I don't like that. I do productive stuff on this app that could be recorded. I don't have a T page running twenty four followers. And now, oh, Lord. Then you put you put Black Diamonds at in the description. She, yeah, don't be weird. That nigga is weird on TikTok. Uh, Yeah, not the awkward silence. Oh, by the way, while we have this time, um, if you haven't already, make sure you click the link in my bio to um, follow me on the new app, Favorited. I'm almost at 1,500 followers already. If you all can please follow me, that'd be great. Um, we'll, we'll more than likely do a topic over there tonight. Um, and yeah, make sure you guys are also casting your votes for me to be a Melvin's next topic number one in my uh voting group so yeah there you go i just downloaded that because, because what random hate are you talking about i like to watch i did not say i hate you i did not say i didn't like you i just asked for you to please not not to put me on your t page if you would like to make a, another account where you record productive lives and record me i don't care but record me when i'm in my element not when i'm trying to decompress from a messy live i that's all i'm saying like if you're going to be a quote-unquote t page then start recording the good and the bad instead of just waiting until y'all see people into it y'all see something that's a possible conflict to record because i'm be honest a lot of these of them be real negative and keeping a lot of drama and calamity up it's never the good stuff being recorded now we we can be messy all day long but we got to be some type of even that's why i don't want to be on that account i don't want to be associated with people who do drama every day yeah make sure y'all, re- y'all make sure y'all record me when i win that damn competition make sure that's on all the t pages because that's going to be a moment in history make sure you record that not just me crashing out yeah, I'm in first right now. They may win. I'm going to get off here, losers. All right, Brad. So I'm about to get off of here anyway. I'm going to go live with my main later, and then I'm going to go to that other app.